So in today's video I'm going to be taking a look at some of the additional features uh, gained with the Windows XP Tablet Edition over just the bog standards of the Windows XP which it is based on. And obviously m many people have experienced sort of like iPads and things which obviously use a very different interface to this. So I mean if we just look at the start menu most of it's fairly similar, I mean if you go in accessories You've got all the usual accessibility options, like on-screen keyboard. I actually prefer the on-screen keyboard in here to the one that pops up here. Although this one does give you the option of writing, which I shall show later. And it is actually very, very accurate. Or well, maybe my handwriting is good, but I don't think so. So just close that. So let's just go back in this, the menu. And you see the first option down is the Master Education Pack for Tablet PC. And it has things like the Equation Writer, Explore the Education Pack, Helix Deluxe, and Ink Flashcards. I was going to first try the Equation Writer, and this does seem to be able to interpret fairly complex math equations, although whether it will on camera is another thing altogether. So then, uh, just, oh crap, I can't, I can't write like this. Let's just try this. Let me see. Oh dear, we're running out of space there. I really felt to make sense of that. <laughs> um, oh, it's because I've written uh, 4AC as a, a single block rather than separate. But if I just correct that and turn that into separate, then hopefully it will be able to convert that. Yeah, write, writing from behind the camera is quite hard, but yeah, it has managed to interpret that fully correctly and you can select it and copy it. Although I haven't tried to see how well other applications deal with that. Let's just close that and then let's just go back here and explore the education pack. Now this earlier didn't seem to work, so hopefully it will now. Seems to be doing something. <laughs> yeah, so here you go. It actually seems to be kind of doing what Windows 8 never did in that it's kind of it's kind of showing you how to actually use it. Let's see if this will Yeah. For so, for some reason the Go Binder isn't installed on here. Helix Deluxe is just a game, but I guess I could try it, but it seems fairly simple. Ink flashcards. Um, as you can see, you can get it to write things, create flashcards, and send to OneNote, which I do have installed on here. Although, to be honest, uh, Windows XP Tablet Edition comes with um, Windows Journal, which seems to be a much more lightweight program, uh, which seems to be able to do fairly similar stuff, but a bit more, I don't know, swiftly, shall I write? Will it be able to make sense of that? Uh, actions, do, 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 how do I? So I've got that written there now, so if I just select it, although the selection tool's a bit weird, then I can just go uh, convert handwriting to text, and then there you go, it has actually managed to interpret my handwriting which is quite surprising um, and yeah you can see there so quite impressive and like I said it's an awful lot lighter than one though is if I just continue here into the tablet options though and we can get to tablet PC tutorials and this is quite long um, from what I remember earlier it does seem to go through does seem to go through it in quite a lot of detail, which is quite nice. Um, so right, here we go. Welcome to Tablet Computing, and it has all sort of the basics and the instructions here. So right, let's just press start, and you can see that there's 17 um, pages to this at the bottom here. So just press start. Do, do, do. <laughs> 
yeah, it just 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 guides you through how how to use it and sort of setting up right-handed, left-handed, how you use the pen instead of a mouse. Or I have actually got a mouse hooked up to this, but I don't intend to use it. Um, so you see that menu, and then practice. Oh God. Uh, double tap inside the image of the door, okay. Uh, now double tap again to close the door, okay. Gosh, I don't need to do that, do I? Um, press and hold. Mm -hmm. Lift up the pen when you see a mouse icon, yeah. Okay. I don't think the screen's quite, this screen doesn't seem to like um, pressing and holding. Uh, for some reason it just jumps around too much, but and the screen's calibration doesn't seem to be perfect either, for some reason. So right now, learn how to use your pen to enter text. Yeah, this has got a variety of ways. And again, I mean like with Windows 8, I found that it didn't come up with a text entry uh, feature thing to enter text, so I had to keep bringing up the keyboard the whole time. Which became very annoying and sort of very un-tablet-like, whereas on this, and for that matter on Windows 7, they both actually seem to be much more tablet-intuitive, because they're not like, we assume you know how to use tablets, like Windows 8 does. Um, and like people might know how to use tablets, doesn't mean they know how to use a Windows 8 tablet. Um, so there you go, you've got the three different types of writing pads, uh, writing character and keyboard, which I showed earlier. And yeah, rather quirky handwriting, but... Um, so yeah, you can get it, you can write on there and then it converts that into text, which you can then in insert into various different text boxes. And obviously characters are probably useful when you're writing slightly weird words. Um, as it probably won't recognise um, the words in an email. Do, do, do. Yeah, have ah, writing neatly and consistency. Yeah, I'm not going to do that anytime soon. <laughs> but yeah, like it shows here, it does um, offer suggestions and things like that. So it's very, very nice. And that's the end of that guide. And for that matter, um, this doesn't offer sort of, there isn't, say, a great deal you just get with a tablet. For things like Windows Journal, Sticky Notes, and the Equation Writer, all make it seem a bit weird. I don't really know. I was, yeah, I was just trying to write on it earlier, as you can see here. And um, just to sort of write notes and stuff rather than anything else and yeah it's actually not that bad to write on if you've got a pen at least because you know with like phones and stuff you can only use your fingers which isn't very accurate but yeah I must say sticky notes is a lot more useful when you've got a touch screen device than if you're just doing it on a computer and the screens have just switched off on the computer Oh boy, my subscribers are going to hate me for this, because they'll probably see it over and over again, but I want these people to win five grand from this Mountain Warehouse competition, and to do that, they need to get as many votes as possible. We've already got 150, which is rather nice, but I um, kind of want my viewers to try and help out, so all you've got to do is press vote now, and then it'll come up with this, and you insert your email address, confirm it, and then... Wait for an email to pop into your inbox, and probably your junk folder, and just click the link there, which will verify the vote, and um, they might just win it, which would be very nice, because they are raising money for Brace, who do research into sort of brain illnesses, dementia, Alzheimer's, that sort of thing, which is very important research in the 21st century, especially um, with the amount of people who lose their lives to it. So yeah, vote for them and maybe they'll win the five grand for the charity and the charity can then continue to do their research and maybe help mankind. To put that in a slightly strange way. Um, but I hope you've liked this video. Um, try to avoid making it too long, but I'm looking at the camera and it's about 10 minutes. But I have tried to cover sort of the additional features you get with this. 
and I'm still planning on doing the video comparing this to a modern day tablet because I think it will be quite interesting sort of doing a side by side comparison of what sort of both can and can't do and the sort of similarities and differences between them.